Hi everyone, here we are again, another Raft Cave update number two video. Uh, again, thank you for all my subscribers, I appreciate it. And let me just show you what I've done again, update. All right, here we go. Uh, start off with the hallway, of course. Like you all have known. Talk about little upgrades I've done, changes I've made. This is the gaming area where I do most of my casual TV watching and gaming. So right off the bat, you notice um, I've added uh, Infinity speakers, um, Infinity Kappa, or no, Infinity Entra 1. Uh, uh, center rear speakers in the back and I just uh, purchased the Infinity Primus um, side surrounds so I have a full 7.2 surround sound for the gaming area finally I uh, <clears throat> excuse me put the three clip subs so I have the uh, two sub-12 clip speaker subwoofers, and in the middle is the sub-10. So three subs, uh, of course the butt kickers, three butt kickers. I also uh, added new uh, isolators for the butt kickers under the theater seats. Uh, I think I have a total of 16 isolators now, which is pretty awesome. So a little more separation from the floor. So the uh, rumble is a little extra sweeter now with those kickers going. And the back here, just a 24-inch stand I put there. Some figurines, Blu-ray collection there. A few posters and stuff. This is my, uh, it's a Klipsch IL-120 subwoofer, or Klipsch, uh, Infinity IL-120 subwoofer in the, in this, in the rear there. Few figurines, Kylo Ren, Vader, a few, a few other figures there. So it sounds pretty awesome. Pretty cool. Uh, that's the new bricks uh, or a piece of the uh, U.S. Bank Stadium that's going up next year. That brick is a replica that's going in the stadium. Pretty excited for that. All right, so. From the back here, and look in the front. So what we have here, a few changes. So the front um, Infinity speakers, the IL series, uh, left to right and center. On the bottom, I keep most of my equipment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, maybe I should get a little closer. All right, so let's back up a little bit. Uh, the TV there is the 82-inch Mitsubishi, 1080p, 3D, still a great, great screen. Let's go into the front here. A few changes here. <clears throat> I have the Wii U system on the top left. Uh, below that's the uh, Sony uh, 3D Blu-ray player. Below that is the Dune uh, 3D base uh, do an HD base 3D uh, media streamer. Hopper with Sling. I have a uh, uh, Linksys 8 uh, port switch, uh, gigabit switch. PS4, Xbox One. And we have the Onkyo TXNR 1010, which used to be my main receiver. Raft Cave, love that. And the uh, butt kicker uh, amp there. On the top is the HDMI 5 port switcher. I have uh, all my devices running into that switcher. And then from that goes to a HDMI uh, splitter. Of course you can't see right there with those dots. That's a HDMI sp uh, splitter. <clears throat> which sends the HDMI signal to the 82-inch and to the main system, which I'm about to show you very shortly here. And, of course, that blue light there is the Darby 
uh, vision visual presence enhancer, which does a great job of giving you a little more pop in your picture. Uh, controller charger there. All right, now moving over to the main equipment area for the theater room. So what we have here. Uh, of course, the uh, Monster AVS 2000 to maintain that 120 volts. Monster Power HTPS 7000, volt, uh, voltage uh, uh, cleaner and surge. We have the Carver Premier 5 channel THX amp, which uh, takes care of my left, center, right, and side surrounds. Over here we have an Outlaw 7 channel 7100 which takes care of my center rears and the Atmos 2 channel speakers. Butt kicker amp which takes care of the three butt kickers in the theater seats. And the crown jewel which I just got. The uh, Denon uh, X4200. Dolby Atmos and DTS-X ready. Oh, it's so awesome. Of course, the uh, Transformers is in Dolby Atmos sound. Another nice trick is that uh, smart strip back there. So when the Denon turns on, it's triggered to the Outlaw, which sends a signal to that smart strip, which powers up the Carver and the Butt Kicker at the same time. It's awesome. Oh, and inside here, I keep uh, both my Harmony Logitech remotes. This guy here is programmed for the gaming area, the gaming room, and this guy is for the theater room. And I have four um, Optima D-Link 3D glasses that are just charging, just chilling, hooked up to a HDMI, not HDMI, this is a, a USB splitter four-way so four glasses plugged into it this little cord goes back to the uh, search projector with the H uh, the USB port look at all these messy wires back here of course the good stuff nice thick quality cables pre-outs and back there the Darby I'm using the AudioQuest uh, Black Pearl HDMI cables. All right, moving on to the main theater room. So we have the uh, Optima HD33 3D projector. We have the Klipsch RS7 rears. RS7 side surrounds. Apologies for the dark darkness here. Of course, the acoustic panels on the walls. Eclipse RF7, RC7, RSW15 subs. 135 inch uh, fixed elite screen. Acoustic cloud. Oh yeah, and my Dolby Atmos ceiling speakers right above the seats. Mounted them pretty easily, just you know, a few screws in the in the wall, in the ceiling. Hung them up there nicely. Tuck the wire across. But I love it because it's the same shape as my sides and my center rears. It just blends in beautifully. Can't tell you enough how awesome Dolby Atmos is. It is just unbelievably upgrade, unbelievable upgrade. Love the height channels. Just can't wait for the future. Dolby Atmos and DCSX when that comes out, I'm going to be ready for it. And the uh, seats, of course, are the uh, four power reclined seats. Curved configuration, very comfy. I put these covers on just you know to keep the leather clean and 
Okay, someone's bills. There's the other two butt kickers. But I do love the uh, the three subs back here. <laughs> it's just awesome. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Um, <clears throat> as far as the uh, controlling it with the harmony. So this says, um, uh -huh. watch Dune HD, right? And it's pretty awesome. This thing only costs 65 bucks, and it's fully programmable. I can do everything with this. It's just a, it's just awesome. Anyway, I have a sensor right in there that I point to, and the lights as well. Lights are on here. If I press number seven. These guys will dim. Uh huh. Yeah. Nice and dark. Very nice. Um, but that's just a light sensor that's over on the side. But back to the IR sensor, that basically will feed a uh, signal all the way up and back to the brains there. And I have a flasher here. And I ran a flasher onto the carpet. Flasher here for the dish, for the dune, for the Blu-ray. For Xbox One, and and one for the HDMI uh, switcher. So I'm able to control everything from my seat, from that little flasher down there. Just worked out perfect. So yeah, as far as the remote goes, that's what I use. Mm, yeah, Harmony. 650 650 don't need a, anything fancy just does its job so remotes there all right so that is it that is the current raft cave configuration i am just in love with this room you know just Pretty blessed to have this room. Thank you to my wife, of course, letting me do this down here. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you have your room, just make it what you want, you know. Add little things, make it yours. So thank you for watching. I appreciate all the subscribers. Please like this video. Leave cool comments if you like. Always remember to have uh, a little surge protector for your projector in the ceiling. It's, it's important to do that. Um, Blue race. So, can't wait to try this when DTSX is released. It's going to be awesome to play that. I uh, just picked up... Uh, New Transformers. Where are you, San Andreas? This guy here. I've heard nothing but uh, good things about this. The sound and the Atmos and everything else in this. I can't wait to watch this in the in the theater. So yeah, Blu-ray uh, Blu-ray collection. Not too bad. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this. I appreciate it. Again, this is the current raft cave, the Atmos sound. All right, thanks guys, take it easy. See you here.